All right, gentlemen, this is a video on how to input your cycle counts. So I'm going to be sending you out a sheet for the uh, section that you need to count. And then once that's complete, I need you to go into transactions, item control, cycle count. This will bring up the cycle count screen. And then from for your individual location, um, you just need to choose that down here on the bottom. And this will pull up right here, this last tab, your pending counts. So if you choose 20, there's nothing in 20. There's a coding cycle count uh, I'm set up in 30. And 40, there's nothing. So you can see that um, through toggling this, you can pick up your individual cycle count. And then from there, you go in, um, and then you just put in what you counted like such right here in the count quantity. This might be um, mo moved around depending on your uh, particular um, configuration, but really the count quantity is here and you just go ahead and start inputting them in. Normally they're set up by alphabetical order or the order I printed them out to you for, so it shouldn't be a big deal. And you go ahead and put them in. As you can see, as you put them in, um, it's going to select these. Once you've uh, completed all your cycle counts and you cycle counted everything, you can go ahead and um, hit the update button. And when you update that, um, your counts will actually be um, up updated and they'll disappear from this screen. So once that happens, um, they're actually going to be in a, a new screen. Um, they haven't been um, um, completed yet, but um, there's actually a second place where they can be looked through and refreshed and analyzed. But this isn't what, what you need to worry about. Just work, worry about the pending counts and, and go through this whole, whole thing. And just complete your counts just like that. Now on this side, as you can see, if you leave one blank, it's going to zero out your count. So you got to be careful with that. But um, this will be the part where I come in, and if there is uh, something of major concern, it'll actually pop up and alert me, and then I'll get back in touch with you as to whether or not that cycle count. Um, or that count is um, accurate or um, if we got to go back and do any type of modifications so what I need you to do is just work on what's in this pending count um, and I will actually have a sheet I print out for you that will coincide with this and if you would please do that and uh, and refresh input this in here and update that's all we need, and then we can keep on moving forward with our inventory integrity. If you got any questions, guys, let me know. Thank you.